Hello, crafty friends. This is the Paper Chef here. January 1st, the 2018 Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog is coming out. And I don't know about you, but I get excited about new products. So today I would like to make a video which features the True Gentleman Suite. Okay, I can't open the catalog until January 1st. But trust me, it's in this Occasions catalog. And you're going to love it. And you don't just make projects for, you know, for men in this suite. I'm going to show you some projects you can make for your girlfriends as well. Okay. So first of all, I'll just go through the paper really quick. This is the True Gentleman Designer Series paper. I mean, adorable little bow ties. Okay. On the other side, we have stripes. Okay. Put that around here. Okay. Glasses. Okay, and it, the, this paper goes in any direction, which is nice. And some plaid, because as you know, plaid was really in season, this holiday season, and now we have some plaid for the spring as well. Okay, this this paper, there's there's some crushed carryout, which I like. I was able to coordinate with that a lot in that one piece, but there's not many there's not many others with crushed carry in it. And you can see hints of very vanilla in this piece here. Okay, another plaid. A nice pattern. I love the pipes because my grandfather used to smoke a pipe and I remember that about him. So every time I see this picture, I'm reminded of my late grandfather. Okay, and there's another cool pattern on the other side. Okay, and the last paper. Now, each pack of designer series paper comes with 12 double-sided sheets. Very sturdy, it makes great boxes and tags and things. I cut up the other six pieces into smithereens by making my projects that I'm going to show you. Okay, um, the stamp set that goes with the True Gentleman Suite is called Truly Tailored. Okay, and it's just really nice. It has birthday sentiments. And what I mostly used in all my projects were, you're a fox to a classy kind of guy, looking sharp, and wishing you a dapper day. Now, for Father's Day, I'll probably come up with some you know, dad projects, and for birthday cards, I'll come up with some of these. But for now, I use these four, these four stamps. And just with those four stamps, I was able to make 10 projects, which I'm going to show you. Okay, two other new products in the suite are the Tailored Tag Punch. And you can see how this punch coordinates well with the stamps. Okay, I'm going to close it up, okay, because it... Saves a little space. And then we have the Knight of Navy um, corduroy ribbon, which is really cool. And it's easy to work with, which I like. Because sometimes you get ribbon, it's not easy to work with. But this kind, look, there's a flat side. So it's corduroy on one side, but then it's flat on the other side, which makes it great for rolling using rolling adhesive on it. Okay. The anticipation is killing you. I must start with my... Um, calendar here, which I made for my husband. Okay, now the calendar, it's, this is a mini calendar, so I used clips from, an, from a kid I had, okay? And it has all the months on it. Okay, so it's a desk calendar. And then what I did for my husband is like, you know, depending on how you're feeling, you might want to put looking sharp on there, or you might want to put your facts, or it doesn't matter, you can leave them both on there. I just thought that'd be fun to put two clips Two affirmations, you know, <laughs> just make it fun. Okay, I used designer series paper. I made this sort of into an easel. And um, when I don't, when I want to ship it, I don't have to glue this part down. It'll lay a little bit flatter. But for the most part, I can ship it like this. I just put it in a box. And some sticky notes, which are replaceable. And I also have a pen for him. So there's, there's the first project, mini calendar. And I did a lot of calendars for troops. So there will be instructions on my blog, thepaperchef.com. At the end of this video, you'll have a link to my blog. Okay, now put that back. Now, when you, when you have presents for guys, you know, you just have to give them things they like. And here we have beer mugs <laughs> with beef jerky, okay? Beef jerky fits in a beer mug. How cool is that? <laughs> okay, so that's what we have here. And all I did... Again, these are for my husband. Two beer mugs. Okay, you have to a classy kind of guy, which makes it even funnier because it's a beer mug with, you know, 
his favorite kind of beef jerky, the peppered beef jerky. Okay, so that's what makes it funnier. Classy kind of guy, eating beef jerky, drinking beer. But, you know, it's cool because you jazz it up. And he will definitely be like, oh, that's really cute. But then he'll go right for the beef jerky. Okay, so there's two other. So this is that was project one and this project two. Okay, now every time I get a new pack of designer series paper, I like to create nugget treats. Okay, now for these nugget treats, I just used, you know, for, for this little tray, a crushed curry, because it's one of the coordinating colors. And I stamped in Tranquil Tide, that one, and, and this one is Fresh Fig. Okay, so just going to show you those right here. So Tranquil Tide and Fresh Fig. Now these are two coordinating colors with the suite, and I really love them. And these are the ink colors, so they're in the catalog, and there's like, if you get a set of ink colors, with five ink colors, then you will be able to do so many projects with these ink colors. Because every time I take out a new pack of paper, designer series paper, one of my ink colors goes with it. And it just beats like stamping in black, especially because it wouldn't really go as well as these. Okay, so we have our nugget treats. Instructions on my blog for the measurements, okay? Now we have some other treats. I went to Ollie's, a place called Ollie's, and they had different colors of Skittles, which my husband loves, and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna show you these, and I'm gonna add them to my cup. So these are just Skittles, one inch by seven inch bags. I'll have a link on my blog on how to find these specific products. Okay, now, if you just take this mug and you stick them in there, that looks pretty cool too. So you can just jazz up your mug with the Skittles treats. So since that one already says Fox, I'll put Classy Guy. This one says Classy Guy, so I'll put the Fox one in there. And these are like blueberry Skittles and brown Skittles, which are a classic color. And the blueberry was something I found at Ollie's. Okay, next project we're gonna keep with the treats. I made these little, these little cookie treats. I absolutely love these little cookies. And let me just show you, here's the box. I went into Michael's, all the food was half price right after the holidays so here we are walkers shortbread scotty dogs now they already are coordinating with plaid and there was already like this one gave me the idea i saw this picture and i was like oh the dog the cookie is wearing a bow tie so then it gave me an idea so i was like i can put each little dog cookie in a bag and put the little bow ties on the dogs okay so they're super cute especially this bow tie here <laughs> with the little plaid on it. And I just fuzzy cut those, although I usually use my scan and cut to cut things, but I fuzzy cut those. Okay, need to make a little room. I'll push these off to the side. Okay, next I have uh, Looking Sharp Sharpies. So, I mean, who doesn't love a Sharpie as a gift, right? Now, these, like, I was telling you that this suite's not just for males. Like, any of my girlfriends would love, you know, this gift especially the teachers, you know, who doesn't love Sharpies? So what I've done here is, you know, used the tag topper punch, which is, it's in our catalog, it's in our annual catalog, but it's not part of the occasions catalog, but I, I use it all the time for making projects. So that's the tag topper punch. I also used the three quarter inch punch for making the hole for the Sharpie. And one little tip, is although that fit fine and the Sharpie kind of stayed stayed in there and you could see the word Sharpie, I actually used uh, removable glue dots. So I'll have links to all these materials. But the removable glue dots, just one. I just put one behind the Sharpie so he doesn't fall out. Okay, so here we are. Um, you see the cord corduroy ribbon and how that cor corduroy ribbon coordinates. And because it's Sharpie, I use the same sentiment on all of those. I use Looking Sharp. Okay, we are up, I mean, we are down to our last four projects. Okay, so now I just wanna show you something cute. So I, this is another pro, a present for my girlfriend. And I found these bags. Sorry, I had to walk across the room so my vo voice is fading. So I was in Hobby Lobby and I found these mustache bags. They were $1.07, originally $2.99. When, when I see 20 bags for a dollar, I don't care what they are. It's like I'm always giving so many gifts. So it was a great deal. So 20 treat bags for one dollar. Okay. They had mustaches on them. I actually already had this suite when I found these. 
So I knew because of the dapper day, the wishing you a dapper day and had a mustache on it, that I could coordinate these bags. And then I was in Tuesday morning and I found the cutest little pad. And because it was right after Christmas, this was normally $1.99. It was only a dollar. And it's just so cute, mustaching through the snow. <laughs> okay. And again, it has the little sentiment in there and just, it's magnetic. Okay. And beautiful papers. Okay. So what I did is I put, I wrapped this pad for one of my girlfriends with a pen, with a stylus pen in there. And then wishing you a dapper day with the little, I didn't buy it tight, but little corduroy ribbon. Okay. So that's another idea. So what you can do with this suite, that's another idea. And now you have an idea for a girlfriend. Although, even though, um, you know, this one is for a guy, classic kind of guy, if you give this to a girl looking sharp, that would be cute as well, okay? So, our last three projects. Now, I did make a card, I made one card. And the story behind this card is, my friend Linda called me from Disney World. It was Mickey Mouse's birthday, and or Walt Disney's birthday possibly, but it was in November. And she called me and she goes, guess what? It's Dapper Day at Disney, and you should see how everybody's dressed up. And she was so excited. I, we just bought season passes, and we're so excited. Her and her daughter were there. So I am giving this card to my friend. I saw Wishing You a Dapper Day, and now I can be like, this reminds me, because then later I met her on, at Disney. Like a, I, did, I missed Dapper Day, but I did meet her at Disney, and I had a good time. And I'm going to say thank you for meeting me down in Orlando at Disney World and, you know, Wishing You a Dapper Day. And then I put little, you know, Mickey up there. And then I found a couple of Mickeys with mustaches as well. And I have a tutorial on my blog about how to cut out Mickey heads with the Brother Scan and Cut. So you can view that if you have a Brother Scan and Cut. Or you could just fuzzy cut out Mickeys. Or you could find Mickey stickers and do something similar. Okay, next project. This is project... What did I say? I'm going to show you 10 projects. So this is the ninth project. Okay. So what I did with this, this we have in our catalog, in our occasions catalog, review in case you fast forwarded, jumped in late. Okay. The 2018 occasions catalog is coming out January 1st. Okay. So I'm doing this you know, product launch and a lot of these things are going to be things I give my downline. But in this particular case, I made this one for my husband. It says you're a fox. Okay, so first let's talk about the materials, and then I'll tell you how I did. So we have these thing called silver mini gable boxes, and you get... Let me just show you how they come, and then I'll show you what I did with them. Okay, so they come... I guess you get... Let's see how many you get. Twelve, and they're really strong. I have, like, at least a dozen die-cutting machines, electronic and manual, but sometimes I like to just order boxes from Stampin' Up! because the boxes are so sturdy. You know, they're already made of cardstock, and... You know, so I just love them. Plus, they coordinate with the product. So this is what we have, okay, in the occasions catalog. Silver mini gable boxes. But I thought, heck, okay, let's... I said, let me take a one of my layering circles. Okay, here's the layering circles. They're not all there right now at the moment. But here's here's the one I used, this particular laying, layering circle. I didn't measure how far across it was. But the reason I used it is because of this. I said, you can just put it on the box, okay, and it'll and it'll fit in the box. Okay, so that's how I made the hole. And as an extra added bonus, and I didn't know it was gonna do this, is it made this really cool, like outline, like an embossed. So I was like, this is fantastic. Okay, now how I did it, I will have instructions on my blog, but this is not only video I'm gonna be doing, so I just need to show you how I did it. You take a cutting plate, okay, and you make sure that you put the cutting plate. Let me move this box out of the way for a second. My crafty friends who have a big shot will understand what I mean. You don't want to cut through both layers of the box. So you put your cutting plate in between there, put your die face down, and you put another cutting plate on top. And you will get the embossed look, and you'll get a nice hole in your gable box. And I just think that looks fantastic. Okay, so we have your fox. So then I went into a different, I'm telling you about a different suite I'm using. Just like I forgot to mention, Mickey Mouse is not stamping up. We're not licensed for Mickey Mouse, this Mickey Mouse came from some paper I got at Joanne's. Okay, back to this. This paper here is Stampin' Up, but it's not from the suite I'm talking about. So I've been talking about the True Gentleman Suite this whole time. Okay, so the, the stamp is from the True Gentleman Suite. 
The paper behind the stamp is from the True, True Gentleman Suite, okay? The box is from the Occasions Catalog. However, these three items, this here, are the little fox and the little gift, and this ribbon here are from the Birthday Memory Suite. Still part of Stampin' Up!, but it's in the annual catalog. It's part of the Birthday Memory Suite. And the, and the ribbon, Pacific Point, okay? Pacific Point Stitched Edge Ribbon. That's what this is, okay? And I, I stamped onto Crush Carry. And what I filled this with is uh, Red Hots. Okay, enough of that project. I will have instructions on my blog once again. And last but not least, we have a present for my husband. So what I did here is I just took a pizza box, part of the holiday catalog. Awesome, you get all these pizza boxes. They're, they're food ready, food safe ready, shiny on the inside flat on the outside, okay? And I like to decorate them. I'll have the measurements. So you have your designer series paper. And I I um, use the, I just like bow ties, so I put bow ties all around the edges. And I love this box, it's very strong. Okay, so where do you see what I put inside? I'm gonna go ahead and untie this. And the reason I used this uh, this copper ribbon, which is from our annual catalog, is because it just, I thought it, the blue didn't look good with the brown pipes, so I used this copper to find the exact names of these things here for you guys. My crafty friends like to always ask me, where did you get that? Okay, copper trim, it's called. And I, so I'm trying to include the material so you don't ask. Okay, here we go. The classy kind of guy on the outside of the box. Now you open up the box, and it says, looking sharp. And then we have a personalized, because the name's on the other side, we have a personalized tool. Pretty cool. A gadget looking sharp and with the little, this makes it into an ornament, this little ribbon. Okay, makes it into an ornament. Okay, so that's the final project I'd like to show you. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And please subscribe to my channel for more inspirational ideas of what you can do with the Occasions catalog products and any Stampin' Up! products or any crafty products for that matter.